responding tonight. After two, Montgomery County deputies are placed on paid administrative leave following accusations of sending racist text messages. It was the president of that organization who brought the allegations to the attention of Sheriff Phil Plummer, who took swift action. Robert Lowry is working for you with reaction from both men and from one of the accused deputies. Well, the NCAA, the NAACP here in Dayton, actually happy that the sheriff acted immediately to these allegations. The sheriff's office was notified about those text messages this past weekend. About five, de five deputies working for the department here, using their personal cell phones, sending those text messages during work and off the clock. The NAACP hoping that the sheriff's office will let an outside agency handle the investigation. Out of a year, the Dayton Unit NAACP will receive more than 200 complaints, but it was this one, filed back in August, that President Derek Forward says he found most disturbing. Alleged text messages between five members of the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. These text messages, some of them, while they may be some joking going on back and forth in some of them, but some of them are just flat out rude and racist. More than 100 pages of text, many containing racial slurs. After a person made complaints about these text messages, the NAACP began its own investigation. There's never, ever a place in our society for, for racism, for bigotry. Uh, we have a very low tolerance for that, in fact. Tuesday, Sheriff Phil Plummer reacted to the allegations. This isn't an organizational problem. This is five individuals. That made a bad choice. They will be held accountable to the fullest extent that I'm allowed to. Plummer calls it shocking for a department that prides itself on community relations. We do block parties on Saturdays. We're in the community all the time. We, we've made great inroads. This is our home. Everybody's home. We all respect each other. We're all not to be biblical. We're all God's children. We're in this together. And these guys take us three steps backwards. Two News spoke with one of the accused deputies, Captain Tom Flanders, who has been in the sheriff's office for 19 years, has been put on paid administrative leave. He tells us the allegations are false and says he isn't racist. Sheriff here at the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office saying that it'll take a few weeks before the investigation is complete. But he does say he holds all of his deputies to a high standard, whether they are on the clock or actually at work, hoping that they will never do anything like this, actually saying it's a violation of their code of conduct. The NAACP saying today that they hope to continue their good relationship with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office past this, uh, these allegations. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.